So it's 2023, and this was the year you promised yourself you're really going to hit hard trying to make it as a streamer. Now it's 10 months later, and you're like, I gave it decently a good try, but I'm still not where I want to be. And you've thought to yourself, hey, I'll do what everybody keeps telling me. I need to make more content on other platforms to pull an audience to me streaming on my schedule. But you just haven't found the time to be able to like take your streams and cut them up and make clips and highlights and everything you should do and need to do. Well, I've got two apps for you today that's going to help you do that quicker and easier. So the two apps, or they're not really apps, really. They're, they're web-based. They're basically two websites, Sizzle and Eclipse. I've seen Sizzle being advertised by a lot of YouTubers, or I would say one YouTuber in particular. And I went out to try both of them on a recent stream so you don't have to. So basically, you can see the product that you can get with both of these. Now, they're free to try, and you actually can use a little bit on a free basis, and there'll be a watermark where they were advertised, which I'm fine with that. But I will say this, watch, because there are totally two different products that you're going to get. And one is, well, much better. So let's look at the first one. And the first one is basically Sizzle. And once you create an account and you go over here, it's going to ask you to link either your Twitch or YouTube account with it. That's the only two pla other platforms they'll use. So you're going to have to be able to, or you're going to have to be streaming on Twitch and YouTube. I'm sorry, kick streamers like myself. You are not included. Um, but if you dual stream like I do on Restream, you can actually kick it over to your YouTube channel, connect it, and basically do the workaround like I just did. So on my last stream here, which where I was playing Dead by Daylight, it'll be this one right here. Do you like scary streams? Basically, you upload that, and then an AI is supposed to take over and basically make you some clips. Now, originally, I thought... Uh, well, I was correct. What I originally thought I thought it was going to make a compilation and then break it up into clips, which it did. And basically, when you upload it, you have to tell the AI what game you are playing. And I think there's around 15 games. I could be incorrect. I read that somewhere that it can do. Now, most of these games are first person shooter, it seems. So if we look right here, what games there are available? Let's see here. Uh, currently, Overwatch, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Warzone, basically. You got Valorant, Apex, Fortnite, League of Legends, Rainbow Six, uh, FIFA, uh, Free Fire, Rocket League, uh, Dead by Daylight, PUBG, PUBG Mobile even, uh, Team Flight, and see, they got many more. They say they're coming. So basically, see, they're very limited, but they got some of the big games. So this seems to be more geared, you're going to see in a second, to that first person or like Fortnite third person shooter. Or PUBG third person. But uh, it doesn't seem to do that well with games like Dead by Daylight. Now, I did not test this using a first person shooter. And I was going to, but I really wasn't in the mood to play some Fortnite, to be honest with you. Because it's October and I'm playing Halloween horror themed games. Which, if you're watching this during October 2023, basically, you should start watching my stream. Yes, I'm doing a plug right now. I am plugging. First of all, make sure you follow me. But I want you to go over to kick.com. Type in OG underscore BRAD and follow me there. I'm streaming Mondays and Fridays at 7 p.m. And I want you to join me because we're playing some great Halloween horror themed games like Dead by Daylight, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Quarry, and many more. I'm even pulling out some classics way back from the original Xbox. We're playing on an emulator, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, just for kicks to see what games were like 20 some years ago. So I hope to see you all there. Now let's get back talking about Sizzle and Eclipse. So my experience was this, and let's look here at what was made with Eclipse. So once you do it, I'm going to talk about time. It says it takes four hours. Mine took probably 15. I basically uploaded it at night, which I presume since it's AI, it works throughout the night. And I did not have this to the next day I'll say late afternoon, almost evening time. I can't remember the exact time I got it, but it was between 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock p.m. So it was uploaded at, I believe, 10, 11 p.m. the night before. So you're looking at like 15 plus hours, which I thought was a little slow. But what kicks out is a compilation, and then it will kick out some clips here. And you can see them, they're all time stamped. But here's the kicker. If we look on the far right over here, they only clip when someone gets hooked or caught. 
The issue with that is I was playing a killer, so sometimes hooks can be good and cults, which is basically almost the same thing. But if you were a survivor, this wouldn't help you at all. It would make a horrible compilation because it looked like you're a horrible player. And if you go to actually the compilation and we play it, what you'll get is over and over and over just a couple seconds of me hooking a survivor. It doesn't show the chase. It doesn't show basically anything beforehand. It doesn't see me searching for them. It doesn't see them avoiding me. All it shows over is hooks, 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 hooks. And why would I want to show that? That's just a really boring compilation because it's just a hook, a hook. A hook, it would be like watching somebody hang clothes, not that them how they washed it, them washing, how they miraculously maybe use some type of technique to actually get their whites clean. This is a terrible analogy, I know. But anyway, wasn't a compilation I would actually use. Also, if you go over to clips, it does show the different clips. And if we look at this one right here, it's actually showing about 10 seconds of the clip, but it's just a hook. So when it comes to Dead by Daylight, this sizzle.gg sizzle is basically useless. I'm presuming that if you're doing a first person shooter, it might just show you basically doing an elimination. So it's over and over and over, which might be a little more exciting compared to just hooking someone. So after basically waiting 15 hours and seeing the compilation it made in the clips on Dead by Daylight, I don't really suggest sizzle. Dot DG. On the other hand, let's look at Eclipse. Now, Eclipse is, let's see, way more complicated. Well, not really complicated. It, it's, it's much more involved. Once you create your account, they have a premium account and a free account. The premium account uh, basically means you can upload a longer stream. So I think the limit is three hours. They also have many more games on the base free and the premium. But the premium is about $15 a month. If you're on the level of trying to promote your stream, not making any money stream, you've probably invested a lot of money on equipment and, and this and there, a, a graphics program to basically make all your thumbnails and everything else you need. $15 a month, I think is a little stout, but they give you the free option. So as long as you keep your streams to three hours, uh, you're going to be able to use this here. They do allow you to link uh, Twitch, YouTube um, and kick, but kick is only if you're premium. So they've got you right there on kick, but you can do the workaround like I explained earlier. So once you upload it, it only took, I want to say about two hours, maybe two and a half hours. So when we looked at sizzle, it was like 15 eclipse. It was two hours, which they tell you it's going to be two to four hours. And what happened is you'll get basically, if you look right here on your stream dashboard, it'll show you what's been processed. It's made 45 clips, which you then kick in. And they're always advertising. So look, you can go to a higher quality rate if you upgrade 1080 versus 720. There's a 10 hour uh, time limit on stream. So if you stream all day, this will work for you. And you can process up to three streams a day. Um, and you have access to a whole bunch of TikTok templates, which we'll talk about in a minute. So they do provide a lot with this compared to Sizzle. So you'll get... Well, when I was editing the stream, I realized I forgot to mention what games they support. Now, on the website, it's a little confusing because it says it supports 20 games. And it's basically almost the same ones you saw on Sizzle. There's five more. It doesn't mention Dead by Daylight at all, but it's mostly all first-person shooters. But if you go to submit a stream, it gives you a ton of choices to select. So I presume it works with all of these. As you can see, Dead by Daylight's on there, and I know it works. And you got everything from Warzone to Fortnite. You got Elden Ring in here. You got the new Four Light 84 game. You've got Madden. You've got Sea of Thieves. You got Roblox. You got Battle Bits. Tons of variety. Like I said, I've only tried it with Dead Daylight. So you should try it. They even have The Legend of Zelda from 1988. So as you can see, they have what appears to be much more. If you know something different, please comment below and correct me. But it looks like they have an expansive library of games that they can basically make clips and highlights for you if you look on the right side they clip basically your whole stream to little clips with actions unlike sizzle if we'll look at just the very first clip here it's not going to show a hook it's going to show actually basically me chasing the survivor 
Uh, it's got me talking. It, it's got a lot more what went on to the game. So this looks like at the very beginning, me first starting out on a match. And so it's got a lot more, uh, I would say, data in there for your viewers to use or for you to use this on your own editing, on your own editing software. What you do is you'll go through, if you want to make a compilation or they call it a montage, what you will do is go through all your clips. So there is some work on your end and you will go and add to a playlist. Once you add to your playlist, you will then go over to the play playlist. No, no. Correction. You will go over to your montage category and you'll pick a basically a playlist to convert and turn it to a montage. So. Remember on Sizzle, the montages were just me hooking people. So it was basically useless. If we look here and one of the issues I've had had with Eclipse is the videos don't play well on their platform to a point where sometimes I had to refresh the page. It didn't play at all. I had many issues like that. So many times I had to download what it would do and you can download it, post it, and they got you TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube, and you got even more down here. But you can see right now, I cannot watch my uh, compilation video. But on it, you basically, on your compilation, all they're doing is taking those clips and putting them back to back to back to back, which you probably can do on your own editing software. So their compilation isn't much better because all it's doing is putting clips in the end in a video format that's only 720. Uh, so you can probably download and upscale it on your own just as quick because when, anytime you do that and it processes it, it takes several minutes. And like I said, you spend a lot of time on Eclipse not be able to watch your videos. And look, now it's going into full thing. Now, one of the biggest, coolest things, and I know other software that will do this, it will convert it to a TikTok clip or a vertical clip. So basically you will pick your clip and basically want to transfer it over into a TikTok video. And we'll do one real quick. Let's see, we'll browse our highlight clips. And again, here's where the problems with the clips happens. The websites doesn't seem to function that well. So we'll, ju we'll just randomly pick one here. And we will go over here. Oh, look, it's actually gonna show it. And this one's actually gonna play compared to the compilation. And what we're going to do, we're going to convert it over to TikTok. They've got templates you can use or you can create your own, which I did. I created a template, basically. You'll have to pick, basically, your camera, make a square around it. And then you'll pick, basically, the vertical window. So to basically what you're going to be seeing while holding your phone, which I have found it seems to almost zoom it in a little too much. because it's not showing you the exact window you want you can stretch it however you want so I, I think maybe it might be a little too much or too little that's another complaint I have it's not giving you data you need to be able to make this vertical box because when I watch it you don't really see a lot of the video it's it's almost too narrow or it almost looks stretched out so you're gonna hit next on this and you're gonna put your uh, English language because I have closed caption on because it does a very good job at closed captioning, putting some funny emotes in there. And with my stream, which I'm plugging again, when I'm being the killer, I sort of take on a persona and I like to say funny things, cheesy things, ridiculous things, uh, like you would see in a 90s, 80s and 90s horror flick. I try to be that guy so it does a beautiful thing with my whole little online persona of playing dead by daylight and it'll convert it as you can see it basically takes a little bit to do this and then once you're done you will basically uh i've already got set up so you would usually put in your name right here which this one sort of drives me a little crazy because i keep having to change my name because it's og underscore b rad in here, you can pick basically icons of Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and Kick, which is actually really cool because they've got Kick, which I stream on kick.com slash OG underscore B rad. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so you can put these on there. Uh, I've already got the auto caption. You can add some of your own text if you want. And they got some themes you can use if you are a Call of Duty player. I know, I'm just joking with you. 
Not really. You war zone players. Anyway, and they even have a dual cam and all kinds of stuff. So once you are done, you will just hit confirm and then it will create your TikTok video. Once it's created, it does take a while. Um, compared if you used an app like the TikTok app and did this per video, it does take much longer. Uh, once it's done, basically they will allow you to share it. What I have found with uh, Eclipse, though, is sharing it. It will allow you to share it to YouTube and TikTok, which those are my two other accounts I mostly use, which, of course, I invite you to follow me on there. OG underscore B-Rad. Yes, I am plugging a lot. But what I found was it would post to YouTube sometimes as a short and sometimes as a video, which I didn't want it to do, of course. It seemed to post it to TikTok just fine. Uh, so that's the only issue I have found is it's not posting sometimes correctly in the right category of YouTube. Now, between the two, Sizzle and Eclipse, I really cannot recommend Sizzle. It doesn't seem to do anything but show the little blurps of action towards the end. I don't see how that is really creating any type of content and it's definitely not really promoting you because it's not really showing you a lot if you want to attract people to your streams. With Eclipse, though, on the other hand, if you are using shorts and TikToks to try to promote yourself, it does a really good job. It's a little slow. It's a little buggy. It's a little glitchy. And hopefully those things will get worked out. But I would uh, highly recommend Eclipse, even though it has all those shortcomings. I wouldn't recommend at this point purchasing it for $15 a month, I don't think it is worth basically having a 1080 because most of the stuff you could actually just do on your own and you might already be doing it. I did find making TikTok videos, it was way quicker. You could use the same thing basically uh, for uh, Instagram. So, or I even made basically these videos, downloaded them and then posted them on Twitter, which is in basically a different format, but still it worked well. So you can basically do it very quickly. I suggest instead of allowing them to post it, you download the finished product and post it on your own because you can do it correctly and just as quick. So that's me telling you my two suggestions on if you're trying to get that extra edge like I am this year and really go out and promote yourself. Sizzle.gg, try it, it's free and see what you think. And Eclipse.gg, see it and try it, see what you think. Thank you so much for watching today and don't forget to follow me and don't forget to go over to kick.com and follow me where you can watch me stream Mondays and Fridays at seven o'clock and follow me on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it these days, because I actually post my schedule every month on there. And I love talking to you guys and learning a lot about other games, no matter if you just like watching, if you like streaming, whoever you may be. Thank you, and I hope you have just a wonderful day, and I hope you, too, meet your goals in 2023 and throughout 2024 of gaining followers by streaming.